model magic clay. We're going to be using a popsicle stick and a paper clip to add texture. And we're also going to use three tiny short pipe cleaners for the eyes. So the first thing we're going to do once we cut our model magic open is take the pack out and squeeze it a little to soften it up. Once you've softened it up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and roll it into a ball. To a ball. We're going to roll it out into sort of um, a very thick worm, okay, shaped like that, like a big pill. Then we're going to take our claw here, we're going to pinch and rotate so that we have a small ball and a big ball connected, almost like a bowling pin. Then we're going to take our finger, we're going to flatten that small end. We're going to take the palm of our hand and flatten the big part. You need to pinch a little more you can. So this is going to be the body. This will be the back fin, the tail fin. Then we're going to take our pinchers again and we're going to pinch the tail into a triangle shape. Okay. Now you can flatten a little more. You can shape it if you like until you get the fish shape that you're looking for. Next, we're gonna be coloring. So if you want to um, use markers to draw sections, you can draw a pattern or design and then color it in. I'm going to color the front half of mine this um, magenta color, and then I'm going to be drawing scales um, in a rainbow pattern. it all colored in, I'm ready to add some texture. So using a popsicle stick, I'm going to gently press lines into my Model Magic Clay. I'm also use the end of the popsicle stick to make rounded parts. I'm also going to use a paper clip. You can use it with both parts like this, or you can open it and just use the one part. Notice how using the paper clip creates a scale pattern when I press it into the Mono Magic. going to add the face. To make a little mouth, I'm going to press with my popsicle stick, dig in just a little to make a smile. The final touch is to add a black pipe cleaner for the eye, and I'm going to push it with my finger all the way in, like that. Now, I want you to notice that I did not color the back side and the back side is flat. That's because for my project, I'm going to be gluing it down to a piece of paper. There's no need to color the back of the fish. Once you have colored, added texture, the eye and the mouth, you're done with your Model Magic Rainbow Fish. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.